are you still friends? Do you plan another trip together or did it damage? No, we're, we're still friends. We haven't got any holidays planned, but we're still friends and we're all in touch and we still meet up and see each other. Don't you agree that there were a lot of details that in, cer in a certain way contribute to people to doubt of you? For example, uh, when you went to the Vatican so quickly, all the contacts that you've made. Can I ask you, Jerry, if you personally know Mr. Gazan Brown, the Prime Minister? No, I we still we've never met Gordon Brown. I've spoken to him once on the phone several weeks after Madeline was abducted. People, I think what we've got to remember is that, and what today is about, good, ordinary people want to help find an innocent missing child. And that's what happened. Clearly there was a huge amount of media coverage and people wanted to look at ways to help. Our government wanted to assist in the investigation to find the missing child. Are they still supporting you? Mr. Gordon Brown still uh, talks to you directly? We've had uh, continued uh, meetings with uh, both the Home Office and also with the Foreign Office to discuss ways in which the search can continue. Obviously today is a prime example of law enforcement, a, a law enforcement led initiative with CEOP with, in conjunction with other law enforcement agencies, Interpol, Europol, and, you know, the key thing is that law enforcement believe we can get information from those who may know. How could you explain that Clarence Mitchell left the British government where he wore the press speaker to be your press speaker? Obviously when Clarence first came out uh, to Portugal working uh, for the government, at that time he came out and spent, um, I think, almost three weeks two to three weeks with us I and mean, he got to know us very very well and he felt very very passionate about uh, the search for Madeline and when the opportunity arose um, you know we asked him if he would come back and shield us from the intense media interest and that's what Clarence has done superbly well and he's become an extremely good friend during this. But he must be paid. He was paid that's right. And now he must be paid. Yeah, but you know... He, Isn't it difficult for you to he, pay him? You know, the first uh, period, uh, Brian Kennedy paid his salary and then he was subsequently paid by the fund. And now, you know, he worked part-time on this and is a consultant uh, for Freud Agency. So, you know, as the media interest has dropped down, we haven't needed a, a, a full-time spokesperson. Uh, to do that. He still works with us. We're working very closely with him. And he's done a brilliant job in protecting us and allowing us to have some degree of normality as a family, considering the very, very intense media interest. And you've also hired a new communication agency back in Portugal. Uh, why do you think you need it? And is it easy for you to afford it? Well, again, it's the agreement that's funded out of Madden's fund and it was a decision that was made by the directors of the fund because we felt, Kate and I are both directors, there are nine directors in total, that to really make the search successful we had to present the information to the Portuguese public given how much uh, it had been written in a negative way about us and obviously we want to work with someone who understands the Portuguese uh, culture and the Portuguese media and how we can persuade people that Madeline is still out there right, and still can be found. Just Until like then, do you think that you will afford all this? Uh, two lawyers in Portugal, a news agency, uh, Clarence Mitchell, I don't know if you still have the two lawyers that you've hired here in London. It's not ideal, you know, Sandra, we wouldn't have any lawyers, we wouldn't need any yeah, help if we weren't in this situation. But don't Nobody. you feel strangled? Don't, don't you feel that we have to do. will we have to finish do. the money? Well, we have to do whatever we can to find Madeline. And obviously we have to look at sort of, you know, if the fund starts to run out, then we have to try and get more money in. We can't and how will you do it? Well, you know, people have been extremely kind. I have to remember that, that the fund was set up initially because so many people offered money to try and help and wanted to help and were prepared to donate. We would love nothing better for Madeline to be found and for the, the remaining monies in the fund to go to helping other families in, uh, of missing children both in the UK and Portugal. And that's one of the objectives. When we found Madeline and her abductor, then the monies can be used for that. 
obviously if the money ru runs out, is running out, then we have to look at alternative ways uh, of fundraising. Um, we've done, you know, small events, community events, which have been very good for team building. We've had a small auction in Madeline School, in the school that the twins are. Do you still have the support of Mr. Richard Branson, J.K. Rowling, these uh, multimillionaires that initially uh, gave you a lot of money? The, the independent investigation that's led by our team is funded completely out of Madeline's fund. I mean, an event like today, there's no specific cost for it, and this is obviously the internet, people already have subscriptions, they can do this, there's a willingness of the population to help, and I think we'll find hundreds of thousands, if not millions of people today will forward this link to their contacts in countries all over the world. That is cheap. But you, do you still have money in the fund? There is money still uh, in the fund uh, and it continues to be used and we will use every single penny in that fund in the search for Madden.